Welcome to the Django series. Today I will talk more about the application. In the last video, I had discussed about how to create the application, then to install that application in the Django project. Today I will explore one by one all the files under that application. Before going to start the discussion, just I will explain how to create the application and then install into the project. To create any new application under the project, you need to type a command in a terminal, python manage.py start app and name of the application. So in my case, let's say name of the application is coder. So using this command, we can create an application. Once the application is created, we can install that application under the project setting files. So go to the project folder. Under the project folder, you can find a setting.py. Just scroll down that file and go to the install app. Some of the inbuilt install apps are there. We can add our newly created application under the install app. Now next is I explore one by one the folder structure of the application. If I explore the folder of folder application, it consists of some folder and files. So start with the first folder migration. This folder contain underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file, which means it's a Python package. This folder also contain all the file which are created after running make migration command. We will discuss this command in the successive video. Coming towards the next file, underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py. This is an empty file. The folder which contains this file is treated as a Python package. Also, we can say this is my constructor for the application. The next file is admin.py. The file is used to register the relational table so that we can perform data definition and data manipulation language from admin application. So various kind of relational stuff we can handle through this Next file is apps.py. This is an application file. This file is basically used to configure the Python application. Coming towards the next very important file is models.py. This file is used to create our own model that will convert into the databases. So whatever the relational database we need to create, first we need to write a class under the model. Inside the class, we can write the variable data type and size of the data type. We'll discuss all the detail of the model in the successive video. But model is used to create a class which will be converted into the database table. Next file is test.py. So what are the functions we write under the view that is a business logic that will going to test under this test.py. So this file will be test the unit test cases. What are the functions we write under the view that are going to be test in the test.py. The next is view.py. This file is used to create a view. You can write all the business logic related code in this file. So what are the functionality that particular application is going to perform will be written into the view.py file. So whenever we create an application, this inbuilt files are created. We need to modify some files according to the need of the project. So in the next video, I explore how to write the views in the view.py file. Thanks for watching this video.